All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get cracking. I wanted to uh, review a couple of knives today, and this is, both of these are unboxings. I've got a uh, Rough Rider Mariner knife with a Marlin spike, and I have this Gonzo, Ganzo that I've been waiting for a long time, G729, GR meaning green. So uh, let's get going. My name is Uncle Don. This is Kingfisher Outdoors. Um, if uh, you find these videos helpful, please uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what kind of knives you like. Maybe figure out uh, the kind of knives that um, that you would want me to do some review on, or any of the other stuff too. You can check out some of my other videos. They're pretty uh, wide range of things. All right. So the first one I'm opening here is this Rough Rider Mariner knife, and I really want it. I've been really wanting this for a long time. I was in the Navy in my younger days and um, with I, I, the job I had in the Navy was not a job that used this knife um, but all the bosun's mate either had a knife with a marlin spike on it or they had a marlin spike you know attached to their belt or something like that with a monkey fist knot um, which was cool and those guys they just did really cool if you like Navy stuff I was more electronics radio that type of stuff uh, those guys were real seamen as far as, you know, throwing lines and taking care of the ship and knowing nautical stuff. Anyway, um, so here it is. This is this is the Rough Rider Mariner. I think it's a Mariner. I, I know the that's correct. Let's just get a look at that again. RR-576. Kind of like that RR Tolkien wrote all them Lord of the Flies movies. Okay, um, so we have a standard... Um, Sheep's foot blade, uh, good work, this is a good looking working uh, blade, and I guess they call that a fingernail thing. Um, anyway, I've, I've really been looking forward to this. I love the anchor, I mean I just love the, the anchor, and um, the uh, it is, I believe they call this slip joint or uh, friction folder or something like that. This here looks like it is for... Uh, some sort of locking a locking type of deal but it's um, mostly ineffective when it comes to that because I've got this open and it closes without doing that I open the marlin spike it opens without doing that for those of you that don't know what this marlin spike is for this is when you're t uh, trying to untie knots so for all the fathers out there this kind of stuff comes in handy when you're when your kid brings you a uh, a knot that needs untying or kite stringing or something like that or something really hard that uh, needs untying and uh, the, the but the marlin spike itself is very smooth feeling it's got a uh, looks like maybe stainless I didn't I didn't get the steel on this um, this is a fairly cheap knife I want to say it was $14.95 off of eBay I mean off of uh, Amazon so um, check it out if, if you're interested in it. I, I'm looking for, I, I bought this because I'm looking for a kayak knife. One that I can um, use to, uh, you know, put in my kayak. And uh, you feel nautical when I got this knife. So that's that. Um, you can just, uh, I'll just give you a quick little run through on it. All right. That's that. Now the other uh, knife that I wanted to just do a quick unboxing of is I've been waiting on this thing for over a month. Um, I bought it off, an e off of eBay. It's the, uh, it's the, it's the Ganzo um, copy of a uh, Spyderco. I'm not sure which Spyderco it's the copy of. Um, I'm kind of hoping it's kind of like the uh, paramilitary too. If any of you guys know that, you can tell me. Okay. So far, so good. Um, one of the things I was worried about getting this knife, well, there's two things that I'm, I'm wondering about that I, whether or not I like it. One is this G-Lock. Uh, I've got several Gonzos with this Axis Lock, copy Axis Lock from the Benchmade. They call it the G-Lock. I'm not a big fan of it. It's, I've never had a Benchmade, and so maybe their Axis Locks are stiff like this, but it doesn't really. Let's try Maybe it needs to be loosened up. All right, here it is. Um, for me, the G-Lock, the Axis Lock uh, 
copy is I have to use two hands on it. One of my Ganzos that has this lock, I can do it one handed. But this one right here. Oh, there we go. I don't know. I'll work on that. Uh, G10 handles. Uh, I think this is 440 steel. Yeah, 440C. Uh, my first impressions are uh, are okay. The the handle feels pretty decent. Um, I'm not so sure about this this blade shape, and um, I know people will disagree with me because there's just a huge following of all those Spyderco knives. Um, maybe if I had a Spyderco or if I ever held one, I would just change totally change my mind on it. The this hole, this thumb hole here is a little bit sharp it's a little bit scrapey um which is gonna might be an issue i want to say the price on this i'll put the link in the um description but the price on this i believe was 17.99 um maybe more uh but just check it out if, if you're interested um, i'm glad to have this in my collection just because i've always wanted one of these um I've always wanted one of these knives uh, once since I've seen all the people bragging on the Spydercos. Maybe one day I'll save up some money or sell some of these Ganzos and get a Spyderco pair of three or pair of two. Pair of two is the one that looks the best to me. But again, you guys know more about that than me because I just I can't hardly spend too much money on a knife like that. Um, this definitely goes into the uh, everyday carry uh, category and um, it feels good and sharp. really have any paper um anyway i just wanted to unbox these two things and let you guys take a look at it uh let's do a um alignment here centering it looks pretty good okay there's a this feels like a standard Gon Gan uh, ganzo make though um it's got some decent quality to it i'm giving it a c plus b minus until i know more about it tip up carry uh, maybe I'll do a review on it later or give it out. i got several knives right now that I've given out to people uh, for reviewing, and then I'll get back with you uh, once they turn it in. They're going to carry them on trips with them or at work, and then we will be checking them out. So uh, that's my little lame review <laughs> on these two. Um, both of these knives, uh, I'm going to use this before I recommend it because, again, it was it was fairly cheap. But it doesn't feel like it. It feels like a case knife. I mean, I've had some case knives in my lifetime that I'm very happy with, and I still have them from a long time ago. And this has that feel. Old timer, like that brand. Um, so we'll see how this does over time, and I might come back and revisit a video on it. But I wanted to get it out there and show people. Um, maybe uh, let people know if they don't know what the Marlin Spike is for. And then um, this guy, uh, I want to go ahead and stop the video because the more I see this, the, the, the less impressed I am with it. Um, maybe part of it was I had to wait a long time on it. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, but we'll get it, uh, we'll get it in a rotation and see how, see how it does. Maybe I'll, I'll oil it up a little bit and get it broken. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, stay curious. Curious people are usually nicer than people who think they know everything. By the way, I did not tell, uh, give you my caveat about knives. I know uh, I've seen people comment on uh, people's knife videos when the guy doing the video doesn't know a lot about knives. And I do know s some things about knives from using them my whole life. But as far as a lot of the vocab and types of steel and things like that, I, I wouldn't, I don't really know everything there is to know about that. So I'm still learning on the, uh, the knife collecting game. But uh, we'll see about this. I'll, it feels kind of light. I'll carry this in my pocket and see how it goes. Maybe use it outside working a few times. See if I like this blade shape in this champion. Anyway, uh, have a good one, guys, and uh, stay curious.